experiment first i have taken a bottle and i have filled with vinegar now add some baking soda into it now light the candle now place the candle on top of the bottle see the fire extinguish when we mix the baking soda and vinegar together they release sodium acetate carbon dioxide and water as carbon dioxide is heavier than the air it stays in the glass when you place the flame over the bottle the carbon dioxide excludes the oxygen and therefore puts out the flame of the candle the next experiment is candle vacuum so for this experiment we need candle matchsticks a plate colored water and an empty glass so first light up the candle and fix it on the empty plate Now pour some color water in the plate. Now carefully cover the candle with the empty glass. The candle extinguishes itself and water rises up in the glass. Fire needs for oxygen to burn. Candle flame uses all the oxygen in the glass for burning. When all the oxygen is used up, the candle extinguishes itself. Now the air pressure is low inside the glass and air is lighter. And air pressure is heavier outside the glass and air is heavier. This creates vacuum and makes water rise up in the glass. Oxygen in the glass is consumed by the flame to burn and this is replaced by water. Thank you. Hi friends, I am Devana Nayama from 4th C of Siddhartha Center School, Palma. Today I am going to do a simple experiment. Using hibiscus as natural indicator. Indicator of substances used to check whether a solution is acid or base. The ingredients needed for this experiment are hibiscus flower, two pieces of paper, lemon juice, soap solution. into the second circle.
The color is violet. In the first circle, we can add some drops of lemon juice. So now we can look the fire is coming or not. Doing this one and I'm going to clean it. Now we will get like this. Then we can look. Behind it, 
children. Before starting this magic, I uh, I put some sodium polyacrylate in this glass. So it can absorb the water and it makes jelly. So that prefer I put a baby diaper. Look, yes. Then I cut it and piece uh, and piece put it in the glass. Then the same attraction it absorb the water and it form as jelly. It like as a snow. I'll, that is like a snow, right? Yes. Look it. Look. This is the science trick of this of this magic. So I think all of you like this magic. So bye. Good morning, everybody. My name is Anna Mary. I am studying in second standard Siddhartha Sandal School, Parliament. This is my science experiment for the National Science Day celebration. I am going to show you the difference of density in cold water and hot water. We need two glasses, cold water, hot water two, and two colors for the experiment. Let's see the activity. that uh, low density object will float. Now the hot water density is lo lower. So the hot water floats on the cold water. Hope you all enjoy the experiment. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am Dan Jepley of Class Trier. Today I am going to do an experiment of fermentation. Fermentation is the process of converting sugar into alcohol. During this process, carbon dioxide is produced. For this experiment, we want 3 bottles, 3 balloons, yeast, sugar and funnel and boiled water. First, we can add one teaspoon of yeast into each four days. Mm. In the first bottle, 
we don't have to add sugar. In the second bottle, we add two teaspoons of sugar. In the, in the third bottle, we can add three teaspoons of sugar. can add the boiled water.
into the it. So the density of salt water is more than the density of lemon. That is why it is floating in. Uh, 
sugar, water, and yeast. To to alcohol, to alcohol is known as uh, fermentation. Thank you. Bye bye. I am Angelino. I am studying the A.
My name is Saizias. I am in class first C. The name of my school is Siddhartha Sandra School Parliament. Today I am showing you a science experiment. First take some turmeric powder. Then add some water. And then mix it well. See the color is yellow. Then add some detergent. And then mix it well. See, now the color is red. Then add some lemon juice. And then mix it well. The color is yellow. The reason is memory is a natural indicator. It turns red with base. So detergent is base. Lemon juice is acid. So no color change with acid. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Kirti from Third E. Today I am going to do an experiment. For this experiment, I will take two glasses of water, common salt, and two lemons of same size. I pour this common tap water into both glasses. Then I take this lemon and put it into this glass. See, this is singing. Then I add two spoons of salt into this glass. this lemon and put it into this glass. See, this is floating because the salt make higher density. The lemon contains lesser density than the density of water. In this glass, the lemon has higher density than the density of water. So this is singing. Thank you. My name is Aradhya. Today I am telling a new experiment. This is blue flower, baking soda, lemon and water. One bowl and spoon. This this flower leaf put it this way. And
this color come. And put it in this bowl. And equal. equal and put it lemon and baking soda It's also mix it. And little baking soda also put it. And lemon. And this also is it. This is my new experiment. Thank you. Hello friends. My name is Abhinidhi A. Class 2G. From Proud Siddhartha family. As a part of Science Day, I am going to show a working model of volcano. Here it is. A volcano is an opening in the earth crust through which lava, volcanic ash and gases escape. When the magma rises up, the pressure decreases allowing the gases to form bubbles. Let's check. First, I take some vinegar and some baking soda. First, I am going to pour some vinegar. I pour some vinegar. And I'm going to Baking soda. Look, 
the look the volcano volcano is occurred look the volcanic eruption is occurred i think i think i or i hope you all enjoy this video so thank you hi friends i am nakshatra ablash of class 4d from siddhartha general school parliament today is february 28 our science day so today i am going to show you how to make a slime without glue or borax the things we needed are water wheat flour color and a bowl so let's start first put four spoons of wheat flour and pour some water well till till it hardens let's put some more water and let's put the color Then let's mix it. We want to mix it up to twenty to thirty minutes. I have been mixing it for twenty minutes, and now it become thicker. So now we want to put it in the refrigerator for one hour. So I have taken it from the refrigerator, and now it's ready. If your slime is not ready yet, you can add some more wheat flour and mix it. Wow! Wow! Thank you. Hi, Sadies. My name is Angel Lashiri. I'm studying in Class One D. Today, I'm going to explain a simple science experiment. We need a balloon, an empty bottle, vinegar, and some baking powder. First, take the take the empty bottle and pour some vinegar to it. Yeah. 
second step is fill the baking powder to the balloon as nest. Fix the balloon to the mouth of the bottle. Drop the baking powder to the to the bottle. Drop the, you can see the balloon is inflated. Gloves also can used, gloves also can used instead of balloon. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi Sippies. I am Ujjuddin of class 3 F at Siddhartha Center School, Parliament. Welcome to my lab at home experiment. Guess what I am going to do today. I am going to do an experiment with a balloon on hot water and cold water. For this ex experiment, we need an empty plastic bottle, a balloon, two vessels, cold water and hot water. First, we have to secure the balloon or around the mouth on the of the plastic bottle then we had to put it in the hot water wow look it inflates now i am going to put it in the cold water look Plates. Now again I am going to put it in the hot water. Wow look again it inflates. Now I am again going to put it in the cold water. Look it deflates. So friends what is the secret behind this? There is a sign secret behind this. When the air inside the plastic bottle is warmed, it expands and needs more space. Therefore, it stretches out the balloon. When the bottle is transferred to the icy cold water, it is cooled. It contracts and needs less space. So, the balloon deflates. The mass of the air remains constant inside the bottle. So, this shows that the warm air requires more space and is less dense than cool air. Try to do it in the home. I'm signing off. Bye. Hi friends. My name is MS Kritika. I'm from 3E from Siddhartha Center School, Parliament. Today my experiment is why we need to wash our hands with soap. So why we need to wash our hands with soap? You are learn here in the news, in the paper. In the pair with your parents, friends, uh, teachers, they are saying you all need to wash your hands uh, in, with soap. So to kill what? To kill our coronavirus. Okay. So here today in my experiment, I will tell you why we need to wash our hands with soap. Okay. So let's start. Yes. Let's move. Okay. Friends, look, we need water, oil, soap water and an empty glass and a 
water and yes oil look the oil is not dissolving yes like salt is not dissolving yes why look it is like a old uh, layer now let's pour our soap water let's let's look what happened yes Today I am going to an activity crystallization of sugar. First, what is a crystallization? Crystallization is a process that separates a pure solid in the form crystal from solution. I repeat, crystallization is the process that separates a pure solid in the form crystal from solution. These are the things needed to do activity crystallization of sugar. Sugar, wooden spoon, water, boiling vessel, jar, stick and thread. Now take one third of water and one cup of sugar to put it in high flame. And still it. Now it's a reach is boiling temperature and it start boiling and bubbles are racing and wait for few minutes and then bubbles cool down. Then we can take out from the boiling. Then we can pour into the jar and also And also add stick with a thread. We can cover a paper in the top.
open this paper take this this is crystal this can be crystallization Then mix it. See the color is yellow. Then we added detergent. And mix it. See the color change. yellow to red then we added lemon juice then mix it see the color is yellow Turmeric is another natural indicator. Turmeric is yellow in color. Turmeric is solution turns reddish brown with reddish brown with base. 
Turmeric does not change the color with acid. Thank you. Hi friends, I am Ashna Prasad and studying in 4 at Siddhartha Central School, Parliament. Today, I am doing an experiment. Okay, then we can start. Yes, but some things we want. We want a bud. We want a paper. Then we want some lemon. Then a candle. Okay, this time, first take one bud. Then, uh, some lam uh, lemon juice in it. Okay. Then, write your name with this stick. Okay. I am writing my name. Okay, this time I write my name in it. Then take it for dry. Okay, this time I have a dry paper with me. I show this paper to the candle. <sighs> okay, my dear friends. This time, it, in this paper, my name comes. Can you see it? Look. Yes, it is my name. That Vaishnavi uh, comes in this paper. Okay, friends. Then, why it happens? We have to know that why it happens. Lemon juice is a natural substance. So, it contains carbon when we are heating it. The carbon will react it into the atmosphere to turn into the brown color so it happens. Thank you. Hi Siddhis, I am Devnanda. I am from 3F from Siddhartha Center School Parliament. Today I am going to show you a simple science experiment. For this we need two glasses, two lemons, some salt and water. First I am going to fill this water in this glass. this lemon this glass this go down next we are making I make a salt solution so makes it well Now I put this lemon in this salt solution. Now this is floating. This happened. The density of water is low and the density of salt solution is high. Thank you. Hello all. I am Lena Layu from 3F. Today I am going to an experiment with lemon, salt and water. For this experiment, 
said, I need salt water, two glasses, two lemons, two both for both glasses. I'm putting this comb and tap water. I'm taking this lemon, put it in the glass. See, this is sinking. Next glass, I'm putting add two spoons salt. And mixing till salt disorderly completed. I'm getting this lemon and put it in the glass. See, this is floating. Because, because the soil make higher density. So, lemon contains lesser density than the density of water. It, so, it is floating. But another class, lemon has higher density than the density of water. So it is sinking. Can you?
My name is Sedali. I am studying class 4D from Siddha Atta Sunday School, Palliman. Today I am going to show one science experiment. The name of the experiment is Bubble Inside a Bubble Experiment. Let's start. The things we want. A, one straw, teaspoon, is soap, some sugar, and a bowl of water. First we can take one spoon sugar. Then mix it up. Then we can put two spoon this soap. One, and two. Okay. Then we see it up. Then all will dissolve. The sugar on. Then we can rub in the table. The solution. And block. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. I can only five. See one, two, three, 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 four, five. Result: Bubbles form because of water is reduced surface tension due to the soap. Nitrogen atoms in a water molecule are attracted to oxygen atoms in other water molecules. Like each other and cling together. Molecules, so molecules help them be more stretchy. Budding in and decreasing the force of attraction. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself Mohit of class 3F. Today I am going to do one experiment. For this experiment, we I... We need two glasses, some water, common salt, and two egg. For this, for this for this both glass, I am putting to putting into the tap water. glass look it is singing for this glass for this glass I will add two spoons of salt then mix it Now I am taking this egg, 
put it into saline water. Look, egg is floating. From this, from this uh, experiment, I understood that for normal water density is less. So the egg is sinking. But in saline water density is become high. So the egg is floating. Thank you. Respected teachers and my dear friends, wishing you all a fabulous day. I am Ritvika Vijay, studying second of Siddhartha Central School, Parliament. We are celebrating 28 February as National Science Day to mark the discovery of Raman effect by the great Indian scientist C. V. Ram. On this Science Day celebration, I am going to do a simple experiment on science. Electroplating. Electroplating is the process of coating one metal over another metal. The aim of my experiment is to make the copper coating over the steel blade. Materials required water, glass jar, crushed the copper surface, 9 volt battery, copper blade, wires, and clips. Now dip your finger into it and observe. Nothing happened. Now put some liquid dishwash to your finger. Now dip the finger into the bowl. The pepper moves away from the finger. The pepper floats on the water because of sulfur tension of water. When the dishwash is put in the water, the sulfur tension get break. When the sulfur tension breaks, the top most 
molecule of spread out and then take the paper particles away thank you hi everyone i am devananda class 7a from siddhartha center school pallimun today i am here to do an experiment based on the topic exploring air pressure and air so the things needed for the our experiment are a glass of water scissors balloon a bottle and a container so first we can insert this balloon inside the bottle now we can blow the balloon see the balloon does not expands this is because the the air has already occupied space inside the bottle next we can put a hole on the bottle with the help of scissors now i have put a hole in it see the balloon expands this is because the air inside the bottle moves through the hole now i have closed the hole with my thumb this time we can see the balloon remains as it is this is because air neither moves in or in or moves out from the balloon now i am going to remove my thumb from the hole see now the balloon contracts this is because air again moves in through the hole inside the bottle now i am going to blow the balloon once more and i have closed the hole with my thumb can take the container and we can pour some water now i am going to remove my hand see the water spills out from this experiment we can conclude that air is the matter and every matter can occupy space and exert pressure everywhere thank you a warm welcome to one and all i am devika ashras of class 9h today i am here to give a presentation about soil profile what is soil soil is a complex mixture of air water minerals organic matter and countless organisms that are the decaying remains of once living organism it forms the surface of the land therefore it is known as the skin of the earth soil is capable of supporting plant life and is vital to life on earth what are the components of soil or what is soil composed of 25% of air 25% of water 5% of organic matter and 45% of mineral components like sand slag and clay now what is soil profile what are the different layers in soil profile let us take a detailed look about soil profile soil profile the soil profile is composed of a series of horizons or layers of soil stacked one on top of the other these layers or horizons are represented by letters o a e c b and r the o horizon the o horizon is the upper layer of the top soil which is mainly composed of organic materials such as dry leaves grasses dead leaves small rocks twigs surface organisms fallen trees and other decomposed organic matter this horizon of soil is often black brown or dark brown in color and this is mainly because of the presence of organic content the a horizon or top soil this layer is rich in organic material and is known as the humus layer this layer consists of both organic matter and other decomposed materials the top soil is soft and porous to hold enough air and water 
In this layer, the seed germination takes place and new roots are produced which grows into a new plant. This layer consists of microorganisms such as earthworms, fungi, bacteria, etc. The e horizon. This layer is composed of nutrients leached from the O and A horizons. This layer is more common in forested areas and has lower clay content. The B horizon or subsoil. It is a subsurface horizon present just below the topsoil and above the bedrock. It is comparatively harder and compact than topsoil. It contains less humus, soluble minerals and organic matter. It is a site of deposition of certain minerals and metal salts such as iron oxide. This layer holds enough water than the topsoil and is lighter brown due to the presence of clay soil. The soil of horizon A and horizon B is often mixed while plowing the fields. The C horizon or saprolite. This layer is devoid of any organic matter and is made up of broken bedrock. This layer is also known as saprolite. The geological material present in this zone is cemented. The R horizon. It is a compacted and cemented layer. Different types of rocks such as granite, basalt and limestone are found here. I hope I have provided a useful information for you. Thank you for watching my video. Good evening to all. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is Kuda Shahab and I am from class 8B Siddhartha Central School. So today I am going to do biology experiment based on the topic fermentation of yeast and sugar. So what is fermentation? Fermentation is the conversion of sugar into alcohol by the action of microbes. So the materials needed are some sugar, yeast, a funnel, balloons, three bodies and some warm water. So let's start our experiment. I am going to add two teaspoons of yeast in each bottle. So in the first bottle, I am not adding sugar. In the second bottle, I am going to add 1 teaspoon of sugar. Second bottle and third bottle, I am going to add 2 teaspoon of sugar. So now we can add the warm water. Good morning, I am Hana Fatima R of class 7D. Today, I am here to speak a few words about the topic National Science Day. National Science Day is celebrated every year on 28 February to commemorate the discovery of Raman effect by Sir C. V. Raman in the year 1928. Sir C. V. Raman was a renowned physician born on 1888. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his discovery of scattering of light, famously known as the Raman effect, in 1954. India honored him by giving the highest civilian award to Bharat Ratna. National Science Day was first observed in the year 1987. 
The main objective of this day is to promote science and encourage people to adopt scientific method in daily use. The day also showcases all the achievements, efforts and activities in the field of science for human welfare. Every year, various teams were assigned with National Science Day. In this year, 2021, the theme of the National Science Day is the future of STI, impact of education, skills and work. The day is celebrated across the schools, colleges, universities, etc. with great enthusiasm. Various activities like debates, talk shows, science exhibitions, etc. are also held to celebrate National Science Day. Thank you. Have a great time. Hi friends. My name is Joanne Johnson of Siddhartha Sangha School Parliament. Today I am going to a small experiment of hot water and cold water. First I this I drop the yellow color on hot water. I am mixed with the hot water. Second, open the red water and drop on the and drop on the cold water. Now I have taken two glass of water, cold water and hot water and now I am going to add water colors into this water. Now I am going to add yellow color in the hot water and red color in the cold water. So let's wait for some time. The color get fully mixed in the hot water. It is because when the temperature is high, the particles get more energy or more kinetic energy. So when the kinetic energy is high, the particles will move faster and they will dissolve falsely. In case of cold water, diffusion is taking place but at very slowly. So shall we make it very fast? So now I am going to stir it. So 
now we can see that the color get fully mixed now we can see that when i stirred the color get mixed in the water it is because when i stirred i have the particles get more energy or they get more kinetic energy and they began to move fastly and they and the color get dissolved in the water with this simple experiment we can say that or we can prove that the rate of diffusion is directly proportional to the kinetic energy of particles and kinetic energy of particles is directly proportional to temperature i hope everyone enjoyed this activity thank you and have a nice day good morning to all my name is flight and give you a few words to that us and let's call balim and call them Today I am making a homemade sanitizer. It kills all the germs in our hand. We want four ingredients. First one is isopropyl alcohol, seventy-five mL. Hydrogen peroxide, four point five mL. Glycerol, one point five mL. And last one is. Cold boiled water, nineteen mL. I will. I take all in all these all these things in the correct amount. First, take a bottle and funnel. And I just remember. I saw. I saw prepare alcohol twenty five mL. We want to slowly. Into the bottle. Next, we want to add hydrogen peroxide, four point five mL, slowly, and 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 glycerol, one point five mL. And we want to add cold boiled water, nineteen mL. Toast the bottle and shake it well. Cap some and cap. And kept seventy two hours or three days. I will also make one sanitizer at home. We we want to open the first. Take two or three three drops sanitizer. Close the it and rub it well. I will also make the chart. I'll also one second. I will also say I saw I saw prepare alcohol seventy five mL, hydrogen peroxide four point five mL, glycerol one point five mL, and cold boiled water nineteen mL to make the make the sanitizer hundred mL, hundred mL. It is WHO formula. Thank you. Bye bye. Say hi, Siddhis. I am Vaidhan Group from 5D from Siddhartha Center School, Parliament. Today I am going to show you a simple size experiment. This experiment we need a cup, two lemon. Some water, turmeric powder, soap powder. Then I am going to pour some water to the glass. Take turmeric powder. Do this and mix it. Okay. The color is yellow. Then I am going to put 
put some soft powder in this. Then mix it. Look, look, the color change into, into red because soap is a basic. I am going to pour some lemon juice into this. Then mix it. The color is changed into yellow because lemon is an acid. Thank you. Hi everybody. My name is Nani Pradi. I am from UKG AQ. Today I am going to show a magic of color. My science project is traveling colors. Let's start. For this activity we need five glasses, water, color and tissue. First, put it in the water with in between glasses. Like this. Like this. Tissue paper and heat connector glasses. Class 2G from Siddhartha Sunday School Parliament. Today I am going to do an experiment on behalf of Science First. Now we can start the experiment. For this experiment, I need it to to two glasses of water common salt and two lemons now pour some water to the two glasses equally add 
one lemon to the first glass. See, see in, see it singing. Now in the second glass, add two tablespoon of common salt and mix it well then add lemon see it because this salt make higher density so this lemon contain density lesser density than water so it float in the other glass the lemon has higher density than water so in sing thank you hi i am neha arpino 6a from sdarka central school today we are going to do an experiment. The topic is oxygen extinguisher. The materials needed for this experiment are two candles with same length, a glass and a lighter. First we can light both the candles. Then we can cover In this, the candle covered with glass tumbler got extinguished. This is because of that fire needs oxygen to sustain itself. The glass prevents the fire to consume more oxygen. Once the fire uh, in the glass has consumed all oxygen, the fire goes out. Did you understood this? Now we are going to do an another experiment. The materials needed are three candles in different length. The largest, medium and the smallest one. Um, and we can check that which one will extinguish first. And we need a glass and lighter. Did you guess that which um, which candle will extinguish first? Let's check. First we can light the three candles. And we can cover the three candles with a glass. Look, the tallest one get extinguished first. Then the medium and the smallest. Because through the carbon dioxide is heaviest but when it is hot it expands its density. It becomes less so it is on the top. So gradually the carbon dioxide level going down. So first the tallest one then the middle and finally the smallest one. The oxygen totally consumed. Then we can conclude it by um, the presence of oxygen is needed by burning. All of you understood this experiment? Thank you. Hi everyone. My name is Anhajinai. I am studying class second year of Siddhartha Sandhu School Palima. Today I am going to do a magical experiment bubble inside a bubble. For that we need some water, one tablespoon of sugar and dishwash. Then straw. First of all, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar into the water. 
then three tablespoon of dishwash. Everything you want to dissolve into the water. Now our magical liquid is ready. Now I am going to wrap some liquid on the floor. Then on a straw. Then I am going to dig the straw into the water. Then blow like this. Now, bubble inside a bubble is ready. This is happening because water surface tension reduced due to soap. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hi, Siddhis. My name is Sairin Mary Sajan of Class 8C from Siddhartha Sandra School, Pandima. Today, I am going to take the based on chemistry that is reaction between baking soda and lemon. For this we need a lemon, then some baking soda, a empty bowl. Now we can cut the lemon. We had cut the lemon into two, we can squeeze it. We have squeezed all the lemons and we can put one tablespoon of baking soda. Now look, it is the bubbles are formed. This is because of the reaction of lemon and baking soda. When the acid of lemon, that means citric acid, come in contact with baking soda, a chemical reaction took place, creating carbon dioxide gas. As you know that carbon dioxide gas is the same gas that is added to sodas to give them their fish. The carbon dioxide gas can be seen in felt through the fixing and bubbling of two ingredients. I hope you all understand this. You want to try this in your home. Then, thank you. Bye-bye. Hello all. Welcome. I am Amaya Seymar of class 3. Today, I am going to do a science experiment. So, that we need a bowl, some, some water, Turmeric powder, washing powder, and some lemon. First of all, pour the water into the bowl. Then add some turmeric powder. Then, 
fix it. Look, the color changed. It is yellow. Then add some washing powder into it. Diva. <laughs>